Hey guys, Tarkin Cycle with FPV. I got an RMA on the bench right now. This is an HTLRC drone. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open. Uh, man, this thing is taped like it is. It is ready to go through Beirut. Let me see. Hold on a moment. I can't even open this thing. Okay, let's try this one. Good lord. A lot of tape. All right, hold on. Michael Mars, let's see what you got going on. I could not enter. Okay, something about beta flight, something not working, blah, blah, blah. Let's just see what we get. Holy moly. This is brand new. Nothing is. Okay, okay. All right, let's quit. Quit with all the parts. Oh, Lord. There, save all the mess. Put that on the ground. Don't need that. Don't need that. So, you want me to. Here's the deal. Uh, it says, uh, let's see, five open messages. Tried to set up the drone's control board, F17.2. Using the instructions on your website, so you attach it, we cannot what? hit past step four. I'm not even sure, so let me just get in here and see what's going on. Let me turn my solder iron off. I don't think I'm going to be soldering anything for this repair, so let's just see what we get. Connect. Okay, so first things first. Let's get in here and see. Okay, so let's go ahead and assign the defaults. Still got my coffee here. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Good to me. Looks like you had the wrong firmware on there. <laughs> and that's all it is. So uh, this is really a firmware issue. Um, so I'm going to go back now. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the focus off the screen here because I'm going to look up this gentleman's email information again because it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I don't see. Okay, so I don't see any of the, uh, oh, you know what, I'll take this one. So, so you're, he was referencing this here, but that's not what you had loaded on your firmware. You had something different. So I'm not really sure 
why you had the firmware loaded that way, but it's pretty clear to me that in this case, um, because that's not what you had loaded as your firmware, and that's why we had that error message at the beginning. Let me show you. So right here, um, I don't even know if, it, yeah, you, what you had loaded was the Zeus, you loaded an F722 AIO firmware. Well, that's, I mean, that's not what this tells you. Um, look right here. I mean, so so if you say you're you're following the you're, the models, you're not. This firmware is the one that's supposed to be on here, and that's not what was on here when it got sent to me. So, anyways, that being said, this is I told HTLRC I wish they would fix this. The U rat thing. I mean, I don't know how many times I got to tell them that. It's, it's, it's kind of stupid. Um, anyways. <coughs> Uh, I believe that in this case, though, there are going to be some changes, and that's going to be because of the uh, uh, the uh, Vista unit. So, you rat. Um, I want to say that I could have sworn that they have four set up for the Vista unit. Let me see if they have that on here. Um, I don't know if they add that instruction to this, but they should. So, if you're using this one... You need to definitely, um, okay, let's just go back to Betaflight real quick because I mean, I, I'm, it's, it's very easy to see that you didn't follow the instructions that were in the pamphlet you told me about because if you had, that would not have been the case. So let's reset, let's turn this around, calibrate, let's do our ports. Now, they want you to turn on uh, ESC, oops, sorry, ESC here. I believe that they have, okay, your S bus is one. I want to say that... I think you'll have MCP here, and I'll try GPS here. I thought it was on two, but let me just try this and see. You know what? I have it right here. Let me see. I have a different manual that came out, and it's actually in my hands here. So let me just let me see what I got here, because uh, oh, that's not going to help me either, is it? Um, quickly connect DJI. So let's see. Where is their settings, though? So in this one, and I want to say that this is how it's going to be, I, I think that this would make more sense to me is they would put the GPS on two, I thought. And that's, that's yeah. okay, so let me go here and do this, do this. And then they usually would have, even though this isn't going to matter here, I could click save, but we're not going to be using the VTX anyway. That would usually be on, um, at least I thought so, on three. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm not really sure, but what I can do is I can tell you that if I go to my ports, oh, wonderful. Okay, so let's try this again. Here, here, I'm gonna leave that off, turn this on, and go to ESC here and click save. Oh, you guys can't see that, sorry. So let me show you what I did here. Okay, ports. Those are all set now, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be ride, power, battery, configuration. Let's do configuration. Let's go to setup real quick and make sure that we have everything. Okay, this should send the top up. All right, so we don't. So we need to do our orientation. All right, so let's go ahead, reset, calibrate, and then let's see where we're at. So up, so we are reversed. Ports, configuration, um, and let's turn this. We go, you, oh, I'm not going to use this or this right now. Um, uh, let me see, we are, see where I'm at on this. So let me just click connect, connect, reset, calibrate, and let's go, oh, no, I gotta go just one more. So configuration, and let's go to zero. Click save and reboot. Okay, we're back. Okay, so everything there is good. Okay, now under configuration, let's go ahead and check a few things off here. OSD, I got 
LEDs trip, maybe. I don't think he's using LEDs on here, actually. Um, I believe he's using a crossfire, though. So let me put in, uh, let me check all this out. So display, transponder, channel operation, okay, LED strip. I don't even think he's gonna use that. So let me just click save and reboot. Oh crap, forgot to turn the GPS on, hold on. Let's connect, go down to GPS, go down to configuration, go down to GPS. Oh. oh, my bad, you don't have GPS. So let's go back there and turn that off. I'm sorry, that's my fault. Okay. Now let's connect again. Let's go to ports. Turn off GPS here because it won't matter. Click save and reboot. Okay, let's connect again. Now let's go down to our receiver and we will give you a uh, crossfire here option because I believe that's what he's using. Save and reboot. Connect. And cool. So that part's done. Now let's turn this on. Okay, reset, calibrate. Let's go to motors and let's see where we're at. Uh... Okay, so motors one, two, three, and four. So one is three, two is four, three is one, and four is two. So now we are going to disconnect, head over to BL Heli. Read the setup. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, you know what? Just update the program to quit doing this dumb crap, okay? Click it by accident, next thing you know, you gotta sit here and deal with this crap for 10 minutes. Come on, make the, yeah, okay, okay. You're a waste of my time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, close, okay, okay, close. Yes, yes, close it, you're an idiot. Stupid. Let's go back to be all heli. The setup. There we go. Okay, so this hasn't even been flashed. Okay, so let's go ahead and flash BL Heli. Yep. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna disconnect. Now we're gonna power down. Pull it back in. Okay. 
Now let's connect back. Reset, calibrate. Now let's go to our CLI. Let's take our motors, one through four. Let's copy here, file new, here paste. And we said that motor one spun motor three, motor two spun motor four, motor three spun motor one, and motor four spun motor two. So let's take that and copy that and go back, Click paste, hit enter, hit save. And now let's connect. Reset, calibrate, go to our motors, arm it, and let's spin motor one. And sure enough, motor one is spinning. Motor two, spinning. Motor three, whoops, three, spinning. Motor four, spinning. And these motors are spinning in opposite direction. Okay, okay, save and reboot. Let's connect again, let's go to motors and let's verify that everything is working. So one, and four are spinning counterclockwise, and two and three are spinning clockwise. This thing is, oh, and they want me to turn on the ESC sensor. Click OK, click Save and Exit. Okay, let's go back to motors, and I believe that we are good. I could have sworn, click OK, agree, yeah, I don't think it's going to get set up that way, to be honest with you. Let me go back and check that. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so tell you what, let's get these off for now. Agree, yes. I mean, we're not using the LA32. I don't know why you did that. Okay, let's connect. And now it looks like everything is good to, do, good to go. So we have everything set. And we can now uh, um, do this. And, yep. Oops, 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 oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Perfect. Okay, and that's it. So, as far as OSD and everything else goes, customer can set that up as he wishes. Uh, we are not running this, so we can go back to our setup. Let's go back to our ports and make sure, and we can turn this off, disabled, save and reboot. Sucker's ready to go. Okay, so uh, there you have it right there. Um, yeah, this was not set up correctly. Uh, the way it was done with the firmware that's on here, uh, that was for a different board. This uses the F722 from HDLRC, so that is the software that you need to use. So you're good to go. So I'm gonna shut this down now, and we will get back to the next RMA. Guys, um, whenever you do see something like your, uh, your gyro not working, your gyro not present, first thing you should always do is go check your firmware, because 99% of the time there's a firmware issue, okay? And it's the wrong firmware. And in this case, it was really blatant. It was the wrong firmware. It said Zeus, uh, 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 whatever, Zeus 22, 722 AIO, and it's not, it's a uh, HRC F722 AIO, not the Zeus port. So uh, this is working now, everything is running fine. We've got uh, everything set. Now they do use different firmwares on here for the ESC. I put it back to the standard BL Heli firmware. Um, if they wanna change that, they can, but my job is to make sure this thing is able to fly and work. So that's it, it's good to go. Everything's set up, the ports are set up, the configuration set up, the gyro set up, the accelerometer set, everything's done. And fun, enjoy it, and as always, please, if you could, subscribe to our channel. I'd always appreciate your support. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. Peace. See you later. Bye.